Hi guys, Sasha for NetbookNews.com and welcome to the magical world of 7-inch tablet. That's the very first 7-inch tablet that I bought in my life. It's a Samsung Galaxy Tab that got launched uh, during IFA 2010 in September 2010 in Berlin. Actually, at that time, the first uh, yeah real iPad competitor from premium OEM. And as we all know, Steve Jobs uh, said, uh, 7-inch tablets are dead on arrival. You know, let me tell you a little bit about the history of 7-inch tablets because I have a bunch over here. As I said, that was my very first one. And um, then got a BlackBerry Playbook. That was uh, last year, summer last year, 2011. Still love tablet OS on there. And then I got the Amazon Kindle Fire, a $199 tablet. Pretty cool device. And I also bought the Nook tablet, 249 and here is my favorite seven inch one. That's really a high end tablet. That's a Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7, .7, super thin, 7.7 .7 millimeters, and uh, with a nice super AMOLED display. Well, I have to admit it's 7.7 .7 inch. And last but not least, here's a device that I bought uh, during Computex for 60 US dollars. It comes with a single core ARM Cortex A8 and a Mali 400 MP GPU. And look at even this in kind of brushed aluminum case and it's running Android ice cream sandwich with a uh, Google Market uh, Google Play access uh, 60 US dollars but you know what that's all history over here right now I've had to wait for this for so long and finally I got it that's the new Google Nexus 7 why did I have to, have to wait for so long because this is the 16 gigabyte version. I thought, you know what, eight gigabyte isn't enough for me. You're just downloading like four games uh, of um, the size of Shadowgun, for example, like one gigabyte games, and then you just can't use it anymore because it's missing a micro SD card slot. That's the Nexus 7 16 gigabyte, and we are about to unbox it right now. Yay, here we go. I've had to wait for over two weeks because I really wanted to get the 16 gigabyte version of the Google Nexus 7 because um, the 8 gigabyte version, you know, just imagine downloading four or five games like the new Batman Gotham City uh, game, which is like 1.7 or 1.8 gigabytes big, you know, you're done. So it doesn't support any micro SD card slot, so you can't extend uh, the memory or expand it. Um, so anyways, that's a 16 gigabyte version, 249 US dollars. And um, some people told me this is almost the tightest box you can ever get. But you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I actually already did a German video <laughs> with the unboxing. So uh, I, I can't fake anything. But anyways, I still want to give you the idea of uh, how this device looks like and what is in the box and uh, what you can expect. Um, it immediately tells you that this is from Asus because uh, each and every of the transformer pads was also in one of these very nice uh, dark black boxes and very simple, very stylish. So here's the device itself. Let's just add it over here. And we have a little additional box in here uh, with a mini USB to USB cable, um, your PSU, and of course a bunch of uh, warranties and manuals or whatever. Um, all these little manuals that you will never ever read, right? So, but you know what? I'm not sure about that. If there's anyone out there who's reading the guarantee, warranty, direct manuals, whatever, just leave me a comment over here so I can call you all because you're a liar. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of all this stuff and uh, unwrap it here. Final plastic off. Gosh, why, why, why do we why do we need to put things in this super environmental friendly plastic? I'm seriously, I'm not a tree hugger, but it just makes no sense. Um, here it is, the Nexus 7, 16 gigabyte, one gigabyte of RAM. Um, it's a Tegra 3 uh, processor at 1.2 gigahertz, but it can also kind of overclock it to 1.3 uh, gigahertz. It has a seven inch display, 1280 by 800 is the resolution. It's 1045 millimeters thick, I would say thin, and it weighs 340 grams. It's a 1.2 megapixel camera here on the front. And you know what the first impression is? Oh my God, this device feels really good and it feels expensive. 
right? Because, I mean, what, what they're using for the back, let me show you here. Let's see if I get the light right. Okay, there you can see this nice little uh, Nexus logo, and there's Asus. And here on the bottom, we have a little sticker here for all these CE, FCE, norms, licenses, whatever. But um, let's go back to this material. It's a kind of rubber, rugged, I don't know, whatever plastic. Looks a little bit like these leather racing gloves from the 60s. I would imagine someone just uh, getting out of a Jaguar E-Type and uh, having these gloves on and also getting the Nexus 7 out of his pocket. Well, it could happen today, but it uh, wasn't possible in the 60s. Well, maybe if you're Marty McFly. Anyways, um, Nexus 7. Let's uh, compare it a little bit in terms of the size with some competitors. And we've already had the most important one right now, especially because of its price. And that's the Kindle Fire here. It's also 199 US dollars, comes with a TA OMAP 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, has a customized Android uh, gingerbread. Is it gingerbread right now? Yeah, well, I'm not sure if you can still call it Android. Of course, it's an Android, but I mean, uh, the front end is heavily optimized. Um, as you can see, is um, the Google Nexus 7 is a little bit higher, um, but it's definitely huge different in terms of the weight. This is like 410, 415 grams. This is 340, and you can really tell the difference. Also, you see that the Kindle Fire is a little bit thicker. And in general, you're getting a very bulky feeling from this uh, Kindle Fire. Then we have um, the Nuke tablet, which costs 249 US dollars, as far as I know. Well, at least I paid uh, 249 US dollars for it. There we go. Also 7 inch, as you can see it's uh, much higher, it's wider, it's thicker, it's also a little bit heavier, like almost like 40 grams, almost 400 grams this one here, right? And it costs, well, compared to this one, exactly the same. 249, 249. There we go. Then we have um, the Blackberry Playbook, which is basically a Kindle Fire. It's a little bit wider. And uh, yeah, it also feels bulky and heavy compared, if you can say heavy, to a 300 to 400 gram device. I'm not sure about this. But you know what? Hold it in your hand for an hour and you know what I mean. Um, then we have the, yeah, the godfather of 7 inch tablets, the Samsung Galaxy Tab from 2010. And once again, you see it's, it's thicker, it's heavier. That was. Um, almost 400 grams, 390, something like that. I'm sorry, guys, I can't keep all these different specs in my head. Of course, I could write out a little note with all the specs. Well, whatever. <laughs> That's my favorite Android tablet so far, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7. I love it because of this amazing um, build quality with this brushed aluminum. Um, it's super thin, it's light, it comes with 3G. Um, I have a 3G card in here. It uh, has a super AMOLED display, 1280 by 800, the same resolution as the Google Nexus 7. And it's very thin. Of course, it's way wider. See that? Okay. Here we go. There you can see the difference. Still, my favorite tablet um, so far. And uh, we are doing, uh, we're doing a comparison video between the two of them just to figure out if it's if I can justify almost three times the price for the Galaxy Tab 7.7 compared to the Nexus 7. And last but not least, um, a device that costs about, what is it, 190 US dollars less. Uh, that's a no-name tablet from Shenzhen. It has uh, aluminum here. It comes with a micro SD card slot. It has two micro USBs here. And yeah, it's uh, quite interesting to see um, such a device. It runs, by the way, on a single core, one gigahertz ARM Cortex A8, uh, has uh, f one gigabyte or 512 MBs of RAM. I don't know, I need to look it up again. And four gigabyte of flash memory, but Android ice cream sandwich. And you can definitely play each and every Angry Bird game on here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just very thin, right? I'm very light. This is not even 300 grams. There you can see the difference. So, 
in terms of look and feel, first impression of the Google Nexus 7. Jesus, this device feels really good in my hands. I, um, I would guess, you know, if, if we would do, if you would ask people outside on the streets here in Taipei and asking them, uh, you know what, what do you think, how much, how much is this device? No one would ever guess that this is starting at $199. This is a $249 version. But let's, let's say, let's pretend this is the $199 version. Uh, no one would ever guess this. Um, this feels like a three to four hundred dollar device at least. I'm not kidding. This is just an amazing build quality. Something. Oh, okay, we can hear it a little bit, but really, I'm putting a lot of pressure on this right now. I don't want to. I don't want to destroy it right in front of the camera. Well, that will be a good one. This video might go viral then. Um, so yeah, first impressions are absolutely amazing. Did I tell you about the 1.2 megapixel camera here on the front? Oh, that's me. That's what's happening with glossy, glossy displays. Um, let's do a little boot up test to see how long it takes um, to boot up this device. So that's a new boot logo for Jelly Bean. I would guess about 30 to 40 seconds. And here we are. Um, it's already connected to the network over here. And I'm already getting my first messages. Let's um, take a quick look at the performance of this device and some unique features. One of the unique features is that the desktop mode isn't switching to landscape as soon as I'm flipping over um, the tablet. But this is something that we're going to change. Oh, by the way, here's a system update. And this should be the system update to Android Jelly Bean. 4.1.1. Let's see. Okay, we are on 4.1 here, and 4.1.1 is available right now. In terms of uh, pre installed apps, well, that's not much, um, almost nothing. <laughs> that's pure Android experience. Only Google apps on there, and you know what? To be honest, that's how I love my tablet. That's how I love my smartphone. Could you please just get rid of all the bloatware? You're shipping with these devices. That's not a PC. You're screwing up already PCs for over a decade with bloatware. I just don't want to have it on a mobile device anymore. I'm going to deinstall it anyway. So how about having a clean installation? And um, yeah, that's what uh, Google is delivering here on ASUS. And yeah, the performance is just, um, this is project butter at its best, definitely. And you can tell I'm opening a folder here. So this looks really good. Well, how about opening up Google Earth so we're getting um, a little impression of the performance? Let's see if it can find us. Here we go. Let's see. That's looking really good. OK. Well, we have a pretty fast internet here with 50 Mbit down, but look at this. This is really nice and smooth. I love it. Okay, let's go to the city, city view again and let's see how I can... Here we have the 3D objects. Oh, look at this. Nice, huh? Let's see if we can find the 101 because here's the Taipei Arena. There's the 101 and that's the view I'm having out of our office, which is uh, it's not this building. It should be here. Jesus, there's no 3D building of our office. That's a scandal. And here's the Taipei 101. So yeah, performance-wise, um, that's fantastic. I told you already, 1.2 gigahertz quad core goes up to 1.3 gigahertz. Um, these are my very, very first short impressions of the Google Nexus 7 that I just got 20 minutes ago. Um, and uh, all I can say right now is this is a really, really nice tablet and I just can't wait to play around with it for the next couple of hours before I'm doing um, my detailed walkthrough video of this device. And Sasha for netbooknews.com, that's the Google Nexus 7 16 gigabyte. Thanks for watching.